the hardware for mobile phones has reached an inflection point where you can deliver really compelling things on mobile. The other big piece was the capture technique that we're using called volumetric um, video. It was hitting a point where you could actually condense the files so they could run on a mobile phone. So you're like, okay, these holograms, the reason we did them on high-end headsets is you just couldn't put them on a mobile phone. It would just like, you know, melt. Um, but now you were able to do that. And so we were looking at a couple things and saying like, okay, people, we really want to build out an augmented reality platform delivering the most rich form and complex form of AR that anyone's ever seen before, really going beyond a face filter. But we knew that there were a lot of building blocks to get there. And one of those big things is really even just familiarizing people with the idea of AR that is not on your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so to, to do that, we we're like, look, everyone loves social media. What's a new type of thing that people haven't seen that really works well with performers, celebrities, musicians. And we were like, okay, if we can basically let you have a cameo with people like Lil Nas X in your bedroom, that's amazing. That's a really novel use case for AR that people haven't seen before. So we really kind of like honed in on how do we make these 15, 20 second musical performances that let you bring these artists photo real recreations of them into your room and create content that you can then post on social media. And we, what we started to find was people that, you know, when we were doing these experiences in film festivals and um, museums, a lot of this was like tech first movers, people that really were kind of like geeking out on the latest features. And the audience that we were reaching was not that at all. This was 13 to 17 year old kids who they don't even know necessarily what augmented reality is, but they know that they want to, do a cameo with their favorite artist. And to be able to reach that wide of a group so quickly, that was kind of like, aha, like this is kind of, we're getting towards mainstream adoption in a way that is um, a bit more rich. So it's been a really good jumping off point for our grand ambitions.